I don't create the I don't create the drama, but I'm here for a bitch. Welcome to Tea Time Unfiltered with Lovely Tea, where we talk about the latest celebrity tea, viral news stories, and anything trending on social media. So grab your teacups because you already know this podcast is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I wanted to come on here with another podcast, and I wanted to talk about a topic that a lot of people have been sending me wanting to know my opinion on. So if you guys do not know, um, one of my friends, Jamal Finkley from Black Tree Media, um, basically he decided to show behind the scenes of what goes on on the red carpet, and it's since gone viral. So what went down is that basically this weekend he was at the Grammy Awards and he was trying to get the attention of several black artists and they were just ignoring him. And Jamal Finkley has been in the game for years. He's one of the ones who encouraged me to get into black media and do things in L.A. and red carpet interviews and stuff like that. So on the red carpet, he goes trying to interview black celebrities and they're just basically walking by. They're ignoring him. He's also talking about how a lot of times when you are on the red carpet and you're getting ready to do interviews, they bunch all the black folks together and you're literally fighting for a spot. You know, like guys are literally elbowing you on the side of your head trying to get pictures. And meanwhile, People Magazine, Access Hollywood, they literally have their own square on the ground and you cannot be like directly near them. So they have room to stretch and move and take pictures and, you know, put out the microphone. It is crazy on the red carpet, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this video clip that Jamal posted. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Gucci. Come on, man. Do it for the black media, Gucci. It's black on media, Gucci. Don't just do people. Come on, Gucci. Come on, Gucci, man. Come on, the hood right here. Hey, Gucci, I was in 6 Southwest with you. Gucci, I was in 6 Southwest. <laughs> come on, man. Do the black media, man. Don't just do vulture. Don't just do the... Don't, do, just, don't just do people. Don't just do people, Quavo. Come on, Quavo. How you gonna be for the hood like that? I'm calling you. All right, so you guys just saw the video. And, you know, the whole situation is crazy. You see Gucci Man walking by, and he's like, come on, bro, holla at me. Then Quavo walks up, and he says, do it for the hood, cuz. <laughs> and he walks by. But then, unfortunately, when Lil Nas walks by in his bright pink outfit, it's crickets. So we're going to address that in a little bit, okay? But a lot of what Jamal was saying is very, very true. And there's a lot of stuff that's going on in black media that you guys may not be aware of, especially with the way a lot of these mainstream celebrities treat black media and it's really sad you know and I've witnessed this this is why I don't you know really do red carpet interviews anymore um because it's like you're begging people who really don't want to talk to you either they feel like they're obligated or they just don't want to be bothered and I just I, I'm not I'm just not that girl I like I don't have the mentality to to chase grown adults and beg them for something that they don't want to do like I feel like when you're at an event and media is there, you should be happy that media wants to ask you questions. You should be happy that people want to know more about you. You should be happy that people want you to speak on your project. And when you're coming in with an attitude like, uh, no, that, that, that outlet's not worthy, but this one is, I just find it really sad. And what he's saying is very true. When you go onto these red carpets, I don't care if it's the Grammys, I don't care if it's the ESPYs, Oscars, there, first of all, there's not a lot of black outlets that even get invited. Like you have to fight. They only take a handful of black media in Anyways, so a lot of the black media that you'll see at like the Grammys and Oscars, they've put in work over the years to be invited year after year. So like a newer black media outlet, you have to like put in work at smaller events before they'll even consider you to come to the Grammys or to the Oscars. OK, so these black media outlets that are invited to these big events like the Grammys and Oscars, they're very few and far between. So the fact that they're there, they are the best of the best. They're going to be professional. They're not going to be coming at you with no bullshit, messy questions. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to be invited back the next year. So this is a very, this is like as professional as it's going to get. You're not dealing with, you know, the homeboy with an iPhone trying to ask you questions on the red carpet at the Grammys. They wouldn't even be able to get in. So this is a very, very, you know, professional event. So the fact that they're just blatantly ignored like that is sad. And the footage that they do end up getting, it's almost like a miracle to get some of this 
footage that you get with these celebrities because once they get to a certain point, it's like they don't want to be bothered. And I know a lot of black media. You know, I've become very close with different people in black media throughout the years, and they've all had the same story. Roland Martin has talked about how, you know, he's been on TV One, he's been on CNN. Like, everybody knows who Roland Martin is. I've met him several times. He still gets shafted by some black entertainers. The Jasmine Brand, who I got a chance to meet this summer, and she was really cool. She spoke about this on The Breakfast Club last year. Go ahead and check out this interview. No, can I just say something? I don't want to plug anything else. I want to say that I have been really, I have this, um, really, I have an issue with how black media is treated. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like, there, you know, there's this huge conversation about diversity in Hollywood. And I feel like there's no conversation about um, the, the lack of diversity in media. Right. I, you go to a, you go to a red carpet. They got all the black outlets at the end of the carpet. They sure do. They rush the celebrities. De- you can't, they, they don't want to make them stop they there. Won't even, they won't even stop there. You got big celebrities that will repost. They get a cover from people. They won't repost, you know, somebody from Baller Alert That's or right. the YBF. Mm-hmm. People so hyped to get on People Us Weekly when black outlets have been supporting their asses from day one. It is really annoying. And I feel a way about it. And it's it's really frustrating to me because it's like, you know, you can't tell. People is big. I'm not, I'm not downplaying people. But, you know, there are sites like ours and other sites that get way more traction and get way more support. Mm-hmm. And you're going to get impact. These and, celebrities you, the that, thing is, Black Twitter runs a lot of things. We 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 run a lot of things. We can make you go to the movies. We can make you buy albums. We can buy make you buy clothes. And I just don't understand why there is not the same level of respect or a conversation about why Black media is getting treated the way that they are. That's a great point. Yeah, I, I've, I've said that. Point. And I, then they get the. I'm sorry. One other thing. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like you know these Black actors and these people of color. They start off with these this Black team, these Black agents, yes. these Black publicists, and they get to a certain level and you can't see nobody black around him and, them. and they mm-hmm. ditched him and I have a huge problem with that too I'm just, sorry uh, I just got upset thinking no. about it even like Kevin Hart they never put us on his press run but Ever. he, he calls always us comes on himself and says hey they don't have me down for you guys but I gotta make sure I'm coming to the breakfast club can you guys fit me in at this time and he takes the proactive decision to right. call us up and say I wanna come by anything he, Kev does big he comes here Anything and as he sh- that's as he should. Ava DuVernay, Lena Waithe, uh, Tiffany Haddish, Jason Mitchell. Yeah, Jason Mitchell from The Shy. Mm-hmm. He wasn't supposed to come up here. They didn't have him, but he was in town. And I happened to tweet about The Shy, right. and he retweeted it. And then I said, "I would love for you to come on the Breakfast Club." And that's how it happened. It didn't yes. happen because and anybody the, from the show booked him. And the thing is, people and and mainstream outlets are covering things that black outlets are talking about. Mm-hmm. So All the if, time. if people hear something on the Breakfast Club, they they start use they're starting even use our the terms that we you know that we yep. it's, it's it's a little frustrating and i just wanted to say that because i, I it, it's it no, baffles me i agree me. with you it that's, baffles what, that's me. why i really salute all the black actresses and actors and people in hollywood who still come to the black outlets the chadwick bozeman's the gerard carmichael's and Lil rails the Issa rays why, why would you not because right. we might be the difference between an extra four or five million dollars that weekend or an extra million people watching your show right or an extra a couple hundred thousand buying your book seriously mm-hmm. you never no, know right. yeah we we make a big impact and i feel like i feel like People just assume we're going to support them anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel like there's no respect there. You know right. what I'm saying? They feel and like they made it when they, they get to certain outlets. Yeah. They forget about the outlets that have been helping them make it. So, yes. why, so why why continue to, to post them then? Yeah, I, that's what I think. That's the decision we're about to make. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's the decision we're about to make. If you're, so. not, if you're not giving us no energy, why should we give you any right. energy? Right, yep. We're about to find out who you mean exactly <laughs> when we see who's yes. not getting no yes. love no more. <laughs> Yes, we will. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw what the Jasmine brand had to say. Um, And then on top of that, recently, uh, Jason from Hollywood Unlocked, who is also cool as hell, he also spoke about this as well when he's talking about Kevin Hart and how he treats black media on the red carpet. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Number two, black journalists who take time out of their days to come to your movie premieres to promote all the positivity that you want to see. Let me show you what he does. National talk show. I was on The Breakfast Club and talked about this very issue. This is what black celebrities do. They fuck with the blogs to get hot. They get hot and they forget who helped them get hot. All right, so you guys just saw what Jason had to say as well. So everybody can't be making this up. Everybody's not lying. You know, I mean, I've seen so many people at different red carpet events, even other YouTubers, and they literally get ignored. I've seen, you know, I've seen like literally fucking Z-list, washed up ass reality TV show celebrities get on the red carpet and show their ass, demand that nobody take a picture of them, don't ask me no questions. I mean, just have the nastiest attitudes and it's like, yo, I can't do this. I'm not that girl. Like, you're not gonna talk to me crazy 
crazy because you got a million followers on Instagram. That doesn't make you better than anybody. You know, and unfortunately, you have some of this fame going to a lot of people's heads. They think that they're all of a sudden up here and they no longer need the blogs, but they forget. It's the same blogs that were reporting on you that made your Z-list ass popular, okay? So don't never forget where you come from. Definitely humble yourself because like we always say in the South, the same folks you see on your way up will be the same people that you see on your way down. So unfortunately, some of these, you know, celebrities, especially the ones who are not real, like, you know, celebrities who just happen to get famous because of who they're screwing or who they don't had a kid with, um, they tend to have the biggest egos, which is just the craziest things. But some of the top A-list people tend to be the coolest folks. The Denzel Washingtons, the Viola Davises, the Holly Berries. Some of those big A-list black celebrities tend to be the coolest. Kerry Washington is another person. But I think this conversation definitely needs to be had. And I'm going to be fair, okay? So a lot of times when there's like a red carpet thing, so this is before the Grammy start, the Oscar start or whatever, most celebrities, they only have an hour, right, before they have to go to their seats, especially if they're not performing. So they have about an hour. The red carpet is pretty long, especially for those major award shows. There's a lot of press there. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.